Nowadays, we tend to think that to reach a high level of technology, it is necessary to have tangles of nanocircuits linked to complex and expensive equipment that are only available to a few. However, technology does not reside in complex machinery, and it may be that this complexity is a sign of a lack of technology. The highest technological level is reached when we manage to operate the elements and natural forces with simplicity and a minimum of apparatus. Advanced technology is not in equipment, but in the result of its operation. The wheel, bread, ceramics, clay, the wings of an airplane, wine, the musical scale or the pyramids are examples of simple mechanisms that operate natural technological forces that are extremely powerful, available and accessible to everyone. There is enough potential energy present in all matter to sustain the universe, and so it has been maintained. Our Earth system is a constant flow of matter to non-matter and vice versa, from stable to unstable and vice versa. The flow is a constant motion. Matter is energetically condensed, generating electromagnetic fields that modulate electrical currents. The empty space between matter is a corridor of high quantum forces through which matter is created, destroyed, or modulated. These forces obey universal mathematical patterns within which M, mass, D, density, P, pressure, and light vary. A pyramid built within these universal mathematical standards acts as a hardware generator where the forces of M, D, P, L resulting from the shape of the structure enable properties of capture, generation, amplification, and distribution of electromagnetic information that modulates all matter inside and outside the system where the pyramid is built. In a matter-non-matter -matter physical system, surface electromagnetic fields intersect, forming a magnetic mesh. The junction points of the electrical corridor of this mesh's magnetic vortices are vortices through which energy flows from the grid directly into matter. The pyramid, aligned with a vortex, acts as an antenna capturing the lines of information from the magnetic mesh, storing them, and flowing them over the physical system, enlarged and modulated. The human brain processes thoughts and ideas integrated in a collective network. The information travels on this network, and the brain, the mind, tunes the frequencies by downloading and uploading data. The pyramid is connected to this collective network and is operated by brain waves, amplifying the power of these waves and creating transmutive conditions over all matter in a radius proportional to the size and power of the pyramid. There are hundreds of flat, stepped pyramids scattered around the world. Civilizations before ours made extensive use of this technology. Nowadays, none or very few of these pyramids are aligned to vortices, they are dead. The City Ziggurats The city, located in Corguinho, in the state of Mato Grosso do Sul, Brazil, is being built within the parameters of universal mathematics to operate the largest ziggurat in the Americas, aligned with the most powerful vortex of the Earth system's magnetic mesh, Earth's magnetic anomaly of the Southern Hemisphere. The large, staggered monument has a base of 63 meters and a height of 63 meters with nine levels and has several internal rooms arranged according to the vibrational frequency of each section of the construction. The immense ziggurat is equipped with vibrational artifacts that modulate the frequencies of the entire structure. On the ninth level is located room 9, and above it is the pyramidal apex, molded in gold. Located at latitude minus 19.923778 and longitude minus 55.171552, when completed, this pyramid will be the only one active in the entire Earth system. 
starting a new transmutive age of mankind based on mental technology. Ziggurats. The name also given to the city around this great pyramid is placed in the middle of a central north-south road. In the far north is the technology center and observatory of astronomical studies. The houses of this town are round with a spherical dome roof. Externally, this type of construction system has high weather resistance and internally offers better conditions for the fluidity of electromagnetic waves. The city of Ziggurats is a legacy of the Dakila Association, whose commitment is to elevate humanity through knowledge. Dakila Ecosystem develops cutting-edge research in astrophysics, aerospace technology, biotechnology, and anthropology. Active members are spread all over the world and have been preparing physically and mentally for more than 20 years to operate this great ziggurat.